Hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing? Yeah, come on, let's make this taco for these kids. Tacos, tacos. You have to buy the the taco beef from the Spanish store. They call it Kenny Para Tacos. Kenny Para Tacos. But me, when I go, I know what to get. I already know I need them chop up steak. They know how to chop up this steak very well. So, we're going to make some tacos. Then you're going to have to need your corn tortilla. Corn tortilla bread. Corn tortilla bread. We are back. We are back. Come on, let's make some tacos. We are making some tacos. Taco Tuesday. Where are these kids? They should be here by now. Taco Tuesday. I'm gonna go live on video to see Gresham. I'm not gonna go live just because. Just because. Don't stay here. Taco Tuesday. a little bit of vegetable oil so now I'm just um, grilling my steak steak is very good on the tacos than beef I love steak even when I go to the restaurant I ask for steak it tastes, it tastes better so now you can come season it because you want your tacos to taste good so season it well while it's cooking because that little water from the meat is going to moist your steak. All purple seasonings. Go to the website and order your seasoning. So I season it very well. Taco Tuesday. Taco, taco, taco. So let it cook, then we're gonna come here. We're gonna start cutting up the um the veggies. Hello Rigia to see Gresham. How you guys doing? Y'all need to go follow me on Chef Ruby and Family. Let me rinse this one. Rinse your, your you have to rinse it out and, and shake it. Shake it so all the water can come out of it. So we're gonna come, you cut up the sticks and take it out. And now you're gonna come cut up here. How you guys doing this afternoon? Those of you that follow me on Rudia to see Gresham, y'all go follow me on Chef Ruby, Chef Ruby and Family. Chef Ruby and Family. Now Chef Ruby's. Chef Ruby and Family. Y'all go follow me there. That's our new page. And that's the page we are using now on most of our videos. So as soon as you finish watching me, go follow me there now. Chef Ruby and Family. Chef Ruby, R-U-B-Y. And family. Let me cut up this. This for the tacos. You have to chop it up. Oh, that's it. That's a lot. Let me take some now. So you have to come with a knife and chop it up. You have to chop it very smooth. That's um. Is this cilantro or parsley? I can ne never tell the difference between those those two things. Cilantro or parsley? I think this is cilantro. This is cilantro. You have to chop it very good for the, for your tacos. Those boys love tacos. They are coming from school. 
and I have to make them something to eat, right? So now we're gonna do the onions. Can you guys see me? Let me move this here. How are you guys doing this evening? Do you have a child that coming from school that you have to make lunch for or dinner? Let me know. We can make them tacos right now. Very simple and easy. So I'm gonna go wash the onions, okay? Let me wash the onions. When you rinse the onion, you rinse out most of the gas out of the onion. So we chop it up. You put small, small, small lines on the onion. Hold it tight so you don't come apart. Put lines in it like that. And you're gonna turn it. You chop it very small. It has to be very, very small. This for the tacos. Okay. Take your time when you cut in it. So you can get the right size. You can use white onions. I don't want to go in the garage, so I, I have red onions around me, so I pick it up, and that's what I'm going to use. That's enough, because these kids don't like onions, so maybe it's only me or Nazma going to eat the onions. So you see that? If they want some more, I'm going to add some more, but for now, that's enough. <clears throat> I'll keep that onion over there. Then, I will like lime juice or lemon juice so i'm gonna cut two right here and put it to the side that's what they're gonna eat with their tacos let me wash my hands those of you that follow me on um rudia to see gresham please go follow me on um chef ruby and family i'm gonna type it in let me wash my hands too. chef ruby and family chef ruby and family Wanda said, hey, Chef Ruby, lunch, lunch, what is the temperature in Atlanta? Because in um, Illinois, it's like 12 here, here where I live. Yeah, 12 degrees. I'm not going outside. I'm going to stay in the house. I ain't going outside. 12 degrees? Mm -mm. I don't know what's the temperature right now because I didn't check it. But I know it's not 12 degrees. I'm sure it's not 12 degrees. So this is the steak cooking here for the boys. You have to make your steak cook well done. Well, 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 well done. Hey, they're here already, this boy. Hello. Hello. How are you? Which name is that? Okay. Good thing that is. Oh my God. Hello. Hi. Mm. Hi. Make it yeah, make it taco. Yeah, come on, come. It's, it's good to eat it fresh. Yeah. Yeah, how you look? You want to see the steak? You have to cook it well, well, well done. Back on Tuesday. It's real cold here. Oh my gosh. 49 in Atlanta. Oh, okay. 49 is not bad. But anything more than 20. I'm going to stay in there. I hate cold. I don't like cold for real. I, I hate cold for the cold. I don't like cold today. I don't like cold tomorrow. When I already told you guys, when it's winter time, I have a special work for the winter time. When it's um, summer time, I'm good. So this is my tortilla bread, corn bread. Um, it's made out of corn, corn tortilla. I have started giving to people watching me on Chef Ruby, uh, um, Ruby to see Gresham. You guys go follow me on Chef Ruby and family. That's why you guys don't see me a lot here. So please, go follow me on Chef Ruby and family. Can somebody type it in on Ruby to see Gresham? Rob Rosie, type it in for me. Chef Ruby and family, tell them to go follow us there. Please. So the steak is ready. I'm going to put the steak in the bowl. No, here. Type it in here. Over there is the 
to a Filipino family. Really? I'm still being family. Tell them to go follow us. I'm sure to be a family. That's our main page now. That's our main page. I don't want to waste this paper. Shoot. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. I'm not paying. Food is expensive nowadays. You all see the steak? The steak is ready. The boy is going to sit down and eat. I don't know what you can that's the problem with this phone, I don't know. That's the new phone, it's a problem. It's not the phone, I think it's the jam. Oh, okay. So, now I'm toasting the bread for them. I turn the fire down. You have to toast this corn tortilla for them. Mario. Mario, come on. Mario. So you're gonna move the onions here. You're gonna move the onions here. On the plates. Then you move the uh, cilantro here. Then you move your lime. Put it there. You have to have all these to eat tacos. You want some cheese? Mm, yeah. I don't know if I have cheese. Let me see if I have mozzarella cheese. I don't like mozzarella cheese. So what cheese do you want then? That's, that's what they eat with tacos. Mm -hmm. We're checking the fridge. Yeah, mozzarella cheese. That's what they eat with tacos. I thought they use cheddar cheese. I don't know if I have cheddar cheese. So I'm toasting the the tortilla bread. You have to toast it. Then you eat the taco with it. Good afternoon to you, your family, and everyone else. Good afternoon, Miss uh, Liti. How are you? Anita, how are you? Colleen, come get one taco. I got your taco. Come get one. Come get one taco right now. One taco for a beautiful lady. Mario, come eat. Mario, come eat. We're not waiting for you. I get. I got you three tacos. Huh? Three. You want more? Mm -hmm. Three is good. Hmm. Let me toast this. What a good dinner. Mario, Hi. come here. You're the one always balancing food. When you see food like you see devil, you run away. As soon as this boy see food, he running away like he see the devil. Come on, man. Go sit down and eat. Come eat for the jewels. Come eat. Come eat. Come eat. Go sit down. Make your tacos. You all watch Abu. So There's you don't have right hands to come get a spoon. No, I found it. You find a spoon? Yeah. Get two spoons. You two spoons. One for you find a cheddar. You find cheddar cheese? Yeah, but it's kind of like stuck together. Can they see you? Yeah. Mom, eat. Let's 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 eat. Right eat. Eat one taco. Come on. Eat. What do you mean? You just come from that school. You telling me all the time you don't like the food. Now I, I didn't eat. say that. That's a boo. Oh. So you, you eat the food at mm -hmm. the school. It's good for you. Come eat. Let me give you two tacos. Eat something in your stomach. Come on. Eat two. Please. Eat for my doors. What happened to not telling us if we want to eat or not? What happened huh? to what? Not telling us if we don't, if we want to eat no more. Huh? I don't understand that English. You saying that you're not going to force us to eat no more. Oh, that's what I said? Yeah. Hey, God, I wish I'm a wicked mom. I will stick to my promise. But I'm not a wicked mom. I'm, I'm a sweet mom. I can say mm -hmm. something, I don't do it. Because before I said I would never ask you guys to eat or force you guys to eat. But as a loving mom, I just can't do it. Right? If you have that wicked mom, she will send you to the pantry to go look for noodles. Right? That's Am not I? wicked. Huh? That's not wicked. That's not what? That's not wicked. What do you mean? That's not wicked. That's wicked, though. Uh-uh. If you have a mom that don't cook for you like this and just send you to the pantry every day, come from school, go look for noodles, go look for noodles, that's not wicked. So you don't appreciate what I'm doing for you? I'm not saying that. So what are you saying? What are you saying, boy? Go ahead. I have to put you on camera. What are you saying, boy? Talk. So that means you don't appreciate what I'm doing for you? No. What, what, what's the problem? 
Talk, talk, feel free to talk. America is a freedom of speech. So speak. Or, or speak or, what is it? Speak or ever be hold. Huh? <laughs> or forever hold your peace. Uh huh. Speak or forever hold your peace. So speak, speak, boy. I'm listening to you. What do you have to say? Speak, man. Speak. Speak now. Huh? What happened? You just don't like food? It's not that I like food. It's what? I'm sure a thousands of kids in this country will pray and wish to come home and mix good, healthy food like this to eat. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So why you don't appreciate it? I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. So what's the problem? It's just that I don't like eating all the time. You didn't eat. You just come from school hungry. So what now, did you eat? What did you eat? You just came from school. Watch, watch your friends come over now. They, and go to uh, Chef Ruby. Is there any food, Chef Ruby? What do you have up for us to eat? They love the food. They appreciate it. But you, you don't appreciate the food. What did you eat? You say you don't want to eat all the time. It's not that I eat. It's that I like eating. You don't like time. eating all the time. Yeah, like I could eat. I could eat like, like, at least at least one meal a day. So that's that food. At least one meal. Yeah, yeah, this is one meal a day. Since this morning you didn't eat nothing. Mm -hmm. What did you eat? Pizza. From school. Mm -hmm. So you okay with that till tomorrow? Okay. I, I will you hear that? If I see, I'm gonna set my camera right here in the kitchen. Okay. If I see this boy come from school and touch my fridge, or go in my pantry, it's gonna be a problem. One meal a day. The meal your government give you at the school, that's it, right? You don't eat nothing else in this house. When you come from school, you don't want nothing. No juice. I would drink some. Oh no, you're not gonna drink mm -hmm. my juice. You're gonna drink. You're gonna drink as drinking is different drink than eating. No, where you eat your meal, that's why you're gonna drink your juice. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So you not drink. Ah, 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 ah. Right now you're sitting there. You want to finish those two tacos. Starting from tomorrow. Starting from tomorrow. You just said starting from today. No, I said starting from tomorrow. Starting from tomorrow, you come from school, you go straight in your room. That's it. No eating. If you eat here, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to get a lawyer to sue you. Mm. You hear that? Mm. Make your taco and eat it. Make one taco for the jaw and let them see how you make it. Come on, Madu. You want mayonnaise? Abu, you want mayonnaise? Mm. Like Did mayonnaise. you put lemon? Mm. The lime? Mm -hmm. You put onions? Mm -mm. Why? No, it's not. So you guys make me waste my onions. I wish I have kids that love to eat. The way me, I love to cook. I wish I have. I have, I have only one child that love to eat. Which is Nazma. But is, you, there, uh, is it like that green hot sauce? I think we have some up here. Manu, you're going to start eating at school. After you eat at school, no more food for you in my house. That's it. I'm going to comment. I don't have green hot sauce, but I have this one. Mm -hmm. Do you want this? Scotch butter and pepper? Mm -mm. This is too spicy. That green hot sauce, I think, is finished. Mm -hmm. I need to buy some more for the tacos. You want ranch, Manu? Mm -mm. You always put ranch on your tacos. You don't have no green hot sauce. You want American hot sauce? Mm -hmm. There's American hot sauce. This is your last juice you're drinking in this house, man. This is your last juice. You're not drinking no juice in this house. You, you eat at your school. Whatever your government gives you, that's what you're going to eat. That's it. No more eating at your Ruby's house. No more eating here. I am going to take you to court. No more eating here. But there's a difference Are you between. Eat? But there's a difference between eating and drinking. There's no difference. Drinking yes, eating is the same. When you eat, you drink. Yes. How? 
It's my food. I'm the one cook it. So when you eat it, you pay for it. Anything you eat here without my knowledge, you're gonna pay for it. That's eating. That's not drinking. Boys, boys eating taco. They say, boy, eat this taco. Eat and keep quiet. <laughs> They say eat, eating one, one, once a day, not good for you, especially playing sports. Did you hear that? That's what I told them. I said you have to eat good food. If you play in sports, you have to eat. You know, you have to eat healthy meat. This meat is good for your body. So, um, she said she is going to sue, sue you, madam. Don't mm. come in tomorrow saying you're hungry mm. and try to eat. <laughs> I will sue him. I swear to no, God. I checked my weight uh, at the start of the month uh -huh. of this month. Mm -hmm. It was like it was like one one eighteen something like that. Now it's the twenty seventh, right? Yeah. No, twenty eighth. It's the twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. So there's a 28. Yeah, it's a 28. Mm -hmm. All right, they weighed me at school, right? Mm -hmm. I'm 127. That means she eating good. But I don't want... That's over the average height, the weight for me. Eh. And for my age. Look that's how over. tall you are. Which over? Stand up, let them see. Which over? I, mean, I, I only gained one pound. Yeah, that's good. Look at you. That's not good. You see, you hear what Rob Rosie said? If you play in sports, you have to eat. You have to eat good, healthy food. I'm already built, supposed you to. You have to eat a lot of hamburgers, a lot of steak, a lot of cassava leaf, right, potato built, leaves. That means you have to eat even more because your body's getting bigger. Yeah, you grow. I'm not saying I'm built. I'm built like I'm already built like enough to play my. But you that, can't. Use, like, but you have to be but healthy. You can't use the energy that you have if you don't eat. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like without food, you would be so hungry. While like if you were playing sports, you didn't eat. While you're playing, you're going to start cramping up and you're going to get hungry. No. Uh -uh. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. That did not happen to me when I was playing basketball. You know, Mommy, you know, trust me. You know, once you you're done, one time I went to practice without eating, I came back home. Mm -hmm. Once you're done, you're going to feel so tired. That was you're you know, not, you're not even going to have the difference. energy to play if, if, if you don't have the, the, right, um, the right vitamins in your body. You have to eat veggies, you have to eat fruits, and you have to eat meat. They have fruits at school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to eat fruits and veggies and meat so you can balance your, your diet. So you can be a healthy child. If you're not healthy, it's not good. It's going to show on you. I'm trying to balance it. You're going to look white. You're going to look pale when you don't eat right. You, you need blood in your body. So meat gives you blood. You have to eat a lot. I'm going to start cooking now um, beef liver and chicken liver. You guys gonna start eating that? For Abu, right? No, both of you. Chicken liver and beef liver. Okay, I don't know about liver though. Yeah, liver is good for your blood. I'm gonna cook liver. I'm gonna I'm fry. Gonna eat that. I'm gonna fry the liver and give it to you guys to uh -uh. eat. Uh -uh. Yes, uh -uh. No. liver. Tomorrow I'm making liver. I have some liver in the freezer. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, you are gonna eat liver. Liver is good for your blood. I don't like liver. Yeah, you have to eat liver. You have to eat beef stripe. You have to eat cow feet. Liver is one of the only things I don't want to eat. You have to eat goat head. Goat head? No. Yeah. Goat head? Mm-hmm. Goat head is good for your brain. It makes you smart at school. Who came up with the idea to eat goat head? Me. That's exactly why we're not going <laughs> Mommy, you no, came up with it. No, I There's... just came up with no idea. You have to eat goat head. Mommy, African people eat goat head. No, you are African boy. You think you're American boy? I'm mostly American. Where now you're born from African blood. So like 70, no, 70 to 80% of your body is from African, African genetics. At mostly African genetics, Abu. Base, barely, like even, most likely 10, Wait, really? 10 to 20% Wait, really? is American. Really? You're not funny. No, 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 no,
No, no, no, no, no, no. Why you get so scared? No! Look at it! Move your phone. Why? No! Why you get so scared? Bro, look at it! No, stop! No, stop! 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 Ew! Look at the teeth. No! No, 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 get that away from me. Come here! No, 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 no. Come talk to the goat mm -hmm. head. Tomorrow, I'm gonna boil it tonight. Ew. I'll take it off the plastic. Come here, both of you. Look at the teeth! <laughs> uh-uh! No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I, I'm gonna boil this tomorrow. They're gonna eat it. You see my goat's head? I kept, mm -mm. I kept this in the freezer for a long time. So mm. tonight I'm gonna boil it. They're gonna eat it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Miss Yolanda said, <laughs> I love mm. liver gravy and rice with lots of onions. Yes, it's good. Y'all see my goat's head? This, I'll keep it. Don't tell Rashida and Asma I have goat's head. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back in my freezer. Oh. This I'm cooking this tomorrow. <laughs> Man is not scared. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> you see the way I boost scream. <laughs> Yolanda said I was scared too. You all see the goat teeth? Mm -hmm. This goat, this goat head. Hmm. You gonna lick it like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna come kiss it too. Mm -hmm. Kiss it, Balu. <laughs> Seats. Mm -mm. Come eat your mm -mm. tacos. Come, they the goat head want to help you eat. He said, have it. No. <laughs> ah, mm -mm. Goat soup for you, boys. Dinner tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, goat head pepper soup. That's what they're going to eat. I'm going to cook this tomorrow. You see? It, it's looking nice, brown. It's roasted. No. You see the hen? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you doing that, man? The man will kiss in the go. Yeah. <laughs> Abu is running away. <laughs> no, the eyes are here. The eyes are here, Miss Tamley. The eyes. The eyes. The eyes is covering the eyes. You know? I'm going to put it back in my freezer. So, whoever mess up, I'm going to cook this goat's head for them. So you can eat. Look at the goat's head. This is, this is all meat. This is all meat. You don't remember when I did the goat pepper soup the last time? Oh, yeah. I didn't ask, you, you ate it. You ate it. I didn't ask your goat head in there. Let me. Okay, but you saw. She, he he ate. ate the goat pepper soup one time. Yeah, he ate it. Yeah. I ate so I'm going to take it to the. I'm going to take it. Soup, not the goat. I'm going to take this to the farmer's market and let him go chop it up for me. Then I cook the soup. Because I don't want all this here. I have to burn it. Abu, Abu running away from the goat head. <laughs> Look at the goat teeth. Uh, Abu, come kiss the goat. <laughs> okay, let me put it back in the freezer. Come on, come eat your food. He said he wanted to go to Big Air. No, I'm not going to. Not Big Air today. The weather is warm. Mm -mm. You guys went to that exercise place already. So, any kid that mess with me, I'm cooking the goat head. Me too. I am out. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I know some people who eat cow cow tongue. Africa, we eat everything. We eat cow tongue. We eat goat head. We eat. We eat a lot of meat, a lot of part, part of the meat, cow, goats, you know. So, what about the teeth? Will you cook them too? Oh, yes. I cook the whole thing. When you're boiling it, when it's, when it's tender, the teeth fall off by itself. You know, the teeth fall off by itself, then you can trash it. 
or you can suck the soup out of it. Are the boys twins? No, they are not twins. They are brothers. They are eight, one year, eight months apart, almost two years apart. The one that said he's not eating. Okay. This is the second or third taco he's eating now. He's a sneaky eater. <laughs> Madu is a sneaky eater. Second or third taco? Huh? Yeah. Only three I gave to him, he eating only this half. Even this one, he's gonna finish it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you guys all. Oh, thank you for 95 stars for those of you that send stars for Chef Ruby. But most of you that are over here on um on Riga to see Gresham page, you all go follow me on Chef Ruby and Family. That's gonna be our main page, you know, for the long run. So please you all go follow us there. Yeah, that's why y'all don't see most of the videos now because we go live on Chef Ruby and Family all the time. So please, y'all go follow us there. For those of you that don't know, just go to Facebook, type in Chef Ruby and Family. Chef, C-H-E-F, Ruby, R-U-B-Y, A-N-D, and Family. I know you know how to type or spell that. So please, y'all go follow us there. It's going to be our main page from now on. Um, he didn't eat the first taco. He gave it to... His brother, oh, yeah? I didn't know that too. So he gave you his taco? Huh? He, mm -mm. he gave it to you. Mm -mm -mm. Well, he's going to eat this one. He put the meat on. He's going to come out here and eat it. He gave it to, he gave his taco to his brother. Oh, wow. When? Yes. These people don't lie. Mm -mm. Hi, Chef Ruby. I am watching from New York. <laughs> Those taco look yummy. It's very good. You see the steak? All you need is Chef Ruby all purple seasonings. You go get you some steak from the Spanish stores. You make you some nice, yummy tacos and eat. You know, it's simple. Make sure your, your steak is cooked well done. Why they haven't come over on this page yet? You you have said it plenty of time. Well, it takes time for people to, to move over. It takes time. Some people don't have time to go sit down and type in the information. So it's my duty to keep telling them. And keep reminding them and keep promoting my business. It's me. It's my business. So I can tell them 1,000 times. It don't bother me. It's, I have to do it. When you have a business, you that have it, you don't want to have to promote it. Nobody else can do it but yourself. You know, are you cooking tonight? No, I'm not cooking. After these tacos, I'm done. I might cook the goat head soup for somebody. I might cook the goat head soup. I'm gonna keep that goat. I might go put that goat in. Hi, Miss Tanya. How are you? How is my son doing? Tell him I say hi. I miss you guys. Berisi, how are you? I will talk to your jaws now. That's your brand new phone looking like a looking like a dumb cell phone. That's my screen protector. Oh, you broke it. Mm -hmm. Chef, when you close there. When you close the other page, will your will your recipes on that page go away? No. That page is still... I didn't close that page. It's still open. The Cooking with Chef Ruby is still open. Now. I just don't get paid there. I don't receive stars. No, no, no. Make another one. That's too dry. Don't eat that, boo. No, don't eat that. Trash it and make another one. Um, Cooking with Chef Ruby is very active, you know, but I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes there, so they disable, they disable the, um, they disable the um, stars, the advertisement, the whatever, whatever. I'm not just getting paid there, so that's why I opened a new page. So all the mistakes I did on my first page, I don't do them on my new page, you know, because Facebook don't play, especially music, they don't play. They can demonetize your page like so fast if you keep playing music and stuff like that. But when I started, I didn't have nobody to advise me. I didn't know. So I make all those mistakes. So I'm sure that's what affects me right now. And it's very painful though because I work so hard for that page. I have over 120,000 followers there. You know, so for me to have it, work on it and don't get paid is, 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 is hard. Because I always say for people like us that cook every day, it takes money to do our food content. You know, it takes money to make food videos. It's not free. You know, so we deserve to get paid on something. 
whether on stars subscription um um video uh, um, video video advertisements you know all those good stuff most of us that that work so hard and that spend money to to create content we we deserve to to receive all those benefits so if you have a page you're not receiving none of those benefits it, it don't make sense and i'm sure that's why you see a lot of facebook um creators right now content creators right now they don't make much videos as before because a lot of them don't get paid like before. They, they might not come out here and say it. You know, some of them are hiding it under the carpet. But sometimes it's good to be honest, you know, to your followers or your supporters. When you're honest enough, they can help you as much as they can, you know. But some people will say, let me fake it till I make it, you know. But it's up to whoever choose not to you know, tell their problem or be honest, that's fine. Everybody operate their own way. But for me, that's what happened with my page. And hopefully, I talk to them though. I email them, I talk to them. They said, let me just keep it open. They might open it, but it's gonna take time because it's up to Facebook. You know, if they feel like they're ready to open it up, they will open it up. And uh, But for the meantime, I have to you know run the new page so please all of you guys go there and follow me on um chef ruby and family so we can grow that page fast like the way we grow the first one and thank you guys so so much yes it's a lot a lot of hard work keeping up with a facebook page and making content it's too much man it's, it's a lot it's a lot for real you know it's a full-time job because what I'm doing right now, I just finished a video, 10, 20 minutes later, I'm here making another video. I have to talk to you guys. I have to read comments. I have to cook the food. It's a lot. It's a full-time job. But for like for me, I can do it any time of the day because I have a purpose. My purpose is my product. I want this product to go all over this U.S. for people to have this product in their kitchen so they can cook good, delicious food for their families, you know. That's my main purpose. So that's why I don't mind. Anything that comes with it, I have to go with it. Just for me to be here and promote this um, beautiful seasonings that I created myself. The best seasonings in the U.S. right now. Try it and let me know. And you're going to tell me that what that lady is saying is the truth people love this seasonings okay all right love you guys we're gonna cook the goat head for abu abu gonna eat the goat head hi fatima yeah. how are you ah, you're gonna eat the goat head when tomorrow the goat head make you smart in school i'm not coming home after school why where are you going to school no you're gonna come home you're gonna eat the goat head y'all see this boy he said he's not gonna eat goat head tomorrow lala tell him about goat head how goat head sweet pepper soup Nothing is going to How many know. tacos you already eat? This is the fourth one? This is the fifth one. What? And that boy is... Hey, boy! Come eat taco. This one eating fifth taco. That one saying that he's not hungry. Hmm, don't make sense. Yes, you will definitely put in a lot of time and effort in your cooking. You have to. You know, like the way I'm talking to you guys all the time. Then people come over, like when I do the George party, they come over, they come eat my food, they say, damn, she been just running her mouth over there, the food tastes like shit, the food is not good, that's a very bad, uh, um, that's a very bad business, you want people to come see you face to face, people to try your food, for them to say, yes, what I saw on Facebook, and what she's saying is the truth. And thank God for that. All the people that meet me, that are lucky enough to meet me in person, that are lucky enough to try my food, they said it even tastes better than what I see on Facebook. You know, so it's a blessing for me, and I'm happy for that. I'm very happy for that. Look at this boy eating five tacos. If it's not good, he's not going to eat it. <laughs> he loves tacos, this boy. This is his fifth taco. Leave some for your siblings. It's enough. That's enough. No more. <laughs> That's enough. I have to move them away from him. 
That's enough. Maybe later you can come back and eat. Mm. Five tacos is enough. Five is crazy. Huh? Eh? You want to put more juice? I told you that other juice was the last. Give me, let me drink some. You see, Abu? He said he don't need our juice. He don't need our food. But now you're drinking more. He lives off of juice. Eh, this juice is sweet, though. Because whenever he drinks the juice, it makes him feel full. That's why he don't eat. Look at this cup. He go make full on juice. Mm? Mm. It's sweet, though. Why do you put here? Put sugar? Nothing. Why is it so sweet? Ah, the juice sweet, though. It's so sweet, eh? Mm. Give me some more. <laughs> no, this is too much. I'm not like you. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, I cannot finish that. Thank you. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Daphne. Hi, Nata. The sweet. Hey, God. That's why these American kids, they like sweet. The way this, this is fruit punch or what? Fruit punch. That fruit punch tastes like sugar? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That's why all of you guys are going crazy. They, they only give them sweet. Everything sweet. Sweet. Abu was not even 10 years old. Most of his teeth came out. <laughs> yeah, silver teeth. I have to put crone in his teeth, this one. He loves sweet. Let me see. Do you still have crone? Uh -huh. You took it out? Mm -hmm. Now you don't even have one tooth here. I took one of his tooth out. And the only reason why it came out Treasure. is because I was, I was eating candy. Yeah, too much candy. Thanksgiving, candy. Valentine's, candy. Labor Day, candy. And Christmas, candy. candy. Everything, candy. Halloween. Halloween. Hey, Halloween is even worse. I didn't even eat Halloween candy this year. Because you don't have teeth. <laughs> no, because I didn't go. <laughs> because that body didn't go. Mm? Mm -hmm. I, one of his tooth was hurting. I took him to the hospital. Oh, we have to save the tooth. Eh, eh, we have to put crown. We have to do this. We have to do that. I say, how much? 5000 I say, take it out. <laughs> huh? The tooth that they just take out, Abu. You remember? Mm -hmm. That tooth that almost kill you. Which one? Your tooth that was bothering you for a whole week, Abu, you don't remember? Did you pull it out? Yeah, you don't remember they take it out? You have the hole in there. Didn't you pull it? Yeah, I told them to take it out. I paid $5,000 for one tooth. Then after they go put that crown on it, they, they screw it, then it start hurting more than before. I don't even remember. I told them to take it out, they take it out. <laughs> you were sleeping, they give you injection. Now you're going to remember. What? <laughs> I was sleeping? Come on, let me show you the hole. You don't see the hole? Where? Eh? So you, you didn't know they take your tooth out? Where? Open your mouth. The hole is right here. Show them. You have your tooth. Hold on. That's the hole. You see, this is the hole they take his teeth out. Show the jewels right here. That's the hole right here. That's the tooth they take out. You see that? Open your mouth. <laughs> Open your ah. mouth. This is the hole. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, they took it out. I fell asleep. <laughs> I thought I thought that was the teeth that daddy took me to get removed. <laughs> so what was that this one? Yeah, that's the one they take out. So that's why that day we went to the dentist. They say you need braces, so the braces can bring your teeth close. Even that too money making. You know how many people? This how this teeth can grow. Yeah. Do you know how many people don't have teeth in Africa? Yeah. Because Africa we don't have dental. You see, we our African teeth is strong, you see? Because we don't eat candy like you guys. Mm -mm. Africa, even they do candy, they do homemade candy. They burn the sugar. <laughs> they burn the sugar to black, then they, they, they boil it up. We call this butter scots. <laughs> That's why we eat as candy. But this candy here is another level. You see a five, five, six year old you're going to a dentist, they, they don't have teeth. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, God. I did the same thing to Rashida. Rashida have a tooth, too. They said they want to save it. Three, four thousand dollars. I say, yeah. huh? You put her oh, yeah, I took it out. I told them, take it out. <laughs> you know, when they want to eat your money, they're going to say, well, if you take it out, 
well she's not gonna be able to speak right well that hole is going left that other hole is go i said let, let it go just take it out i'm not paying you five thousand dollar four thousand to take one to save one tooth i'm not doing that take it out i do the same thing to myself well, when am i gonna get my braces i don't know you said you're gonna talk to your dad go talk to him i'm paying five six thousand dollar for no teeth no i'm not doing that me i came from africa i still have my teeth i never have to spend five six thousand dollars for because you were 20. for teeth it don't matter mm -hmm. africa you... some some me when i used to grow up you know what i used to use to brush my teeth salt Salt. yeah when i wake up the money i put salt on my finger i go like this i clean my teeth i don't even so... know what is toothpaste yes growing up in africa so we god gave us good teeth you you don't have, you guys don't have good teeth here no i grew up in africa i never entered a dentist door you guys start going to dentist since you're two years old you start going to dentist even if i don't take you to dentist they're gonna come arrest me yes yeah, sweet too much in the usa <laughs> will most definitely chop your money here they here yeah, these dentist people they know how to chop money when you go there, they do those x ray If they explain to you what's going on, even, <laughs> even the last time, two weeks ago, I went there for cleaning. Oh, I said, just because I like the cleaning. You know, cleaning is good. Because sometimes, sometimes it, it, the teeth, it don't matter how you clean them, sometimes you're going to have some yellow little stuff sitting here. So I like when I go when they clean it. You know, I've done like three or four cleaning already. Then I went for my cleaning two weeks ago. The lady, okay, we have to do x-ray because eh, it's more than a year now. Eh. I said, okay, do x-ray, no problem. Free x-ray, no problem. She did the x-ray, now she come. Eh, your teeth is too sensitive. I cannot do cleaning today. Eh, you, you have to eh, do this, do that, do that, do that. I said, okay, what's the estimate? She, got, she, she went to the computer, she typed, type, type, type. Eh, she come. 500, 1,000, 1, uh, everything came up to 4,000 for the, more than 4,000 for this process she want to do in my teeth for her to be able to clean my teeth. I look at her, I said, are you serious? She said, yeah. I said, I don't want none of that stuff. Just clean my teeth. She said, no, I cannot clean your teeth all because your gum is too sensitive or I cannot clean. I said, okay, no problem. Let me call my other insurance. If they can cover that, then I'll come back. I never went back there. I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> baking soda. Yeah, we used to use baking soda too in Africa. Baking soda, salt. Sometimes if you're lucky to have a toothpaste, you use toothpaste. And um, you can see a 70, 80 year old people in Africa, their teeth is full and healthy. Good teeth, you know. Do you tell your age, Chef Ruby? My age? I'm old enough. I am very old enough and I'm wise enough. That's my age. <laughs> That's my age. Hi, Anne Maria. You do. Hi, Trina. How are you? Yeah, these dentists in America, man, they eat, they eat people money. Oh. If you're not smart, they're going to finish you. Yeah, they're going to finish you. Yeah. So many times they almost get at me. I, the la one time too, my tooth was hurting. I went to these people. I said, take it out. It's hurting. No, we cannot take it out. We're going to save it. These guys screw. These guys drill my teeth all the way to my gum. Just to save it. So I left the dentist. I went home. Eh, me, I cannot sleep. Oh, the pain almost killed me. I went back the next day. I said, please take this teeth out. But before that, they already make me sign a contract. The whole process was going to be thousands of dollars i can never remember if it's five or six dollars, whatever so they let me sign up for this medical something so that way i pay i think i paid three hundred dollars the, the the first day they drill my teeth so they was going to come in my account and take 200 or 250 i think 200 every month yeah just that same week these people drill my teeth the following week they take first payment and I already went the next day. I told them, cancel this program. Just take the teeth out. Because the teeth is, the pain is still killing me. You know? So they took the teeth out. Oh, after they take these teeth out, these people start digging in my account. Me, I thought they canceled. And the lady told me she signed something, everything. She said it's canceled. I said, okay. 
Next month, they take 200. Follow him on 200. They um, I called them. I said, can you cancel this thing, please? Stop taking money in my account. Oh, it's canceled. They still take it. They still, I have to call my bank and dispute all that stuff. So just imagine the headache you have to go through. So that's why when you go to those offices to do anything, you have to be very sensitive. Black home, we only go to dentists when, we're back home, we only go to dentists when you have tooth pain. Even dentists, me, I never see dentist's office in, 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 in Botan. I never see that with my eyes. Maybe now they have, but before, I know they have a hospital, but I never see a dentist. I don't see no dentist. I've never been to a dentist in Africa. You know, like here, your baby, one year old, two years old, you start taking them to dentist. Me, I, see, I didn't see that in Africa. You know, so it's only by blessing and by, by, um, by personal hygiene. You know, that's why growing up in Africa, our parents, they raise us right. By the time you wake up in the morning, they will be behind you. Go brush your teeth. Go get water. Go shower. Sometimes if you are young, like from 6 to 10, they will shower you. They scrub you. They will scrub you very good. They will help you clean your teeth. But from 10 and up, they let you do it yourself. They will stand there and watch you. They, they show you what to do. You know, so our parents, they raise us. But here, even these boys right now, when they shower, they don't even want me to stand there. They kick me out. And sometimes, sometimes, a couple of days when, when they sit close to me, I'm saying, hey, go shower. You know, because they play sports, they have that sweaty smell. So if you don't monitor them, they don't have good smell though. You know, so when you have young kids from 10 to 15 years old, you still need to monitor them and watch their personal hygiene. How they, if you don't watch them, they don't, they don't care. They will go to bed without brushing their teeth. They will go to bed without showering. Yeah. My, like my daughter, she will go in the bathroom. Nazma, when she was younger, she would turn the water on. You're going to hear the water going, foing, 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 foing. No, she's not in there. The water is running. Even the boys, they do that sometimes. So you have to go in and monitor for, for small kids. Because you don't want them to go to school smelling bad, having bad breath. You know, you have to show them how to floss, how to wash their tongue and their teeth and gum. That will, that will help them a lot. You know, and these kids, most of the time, when I take them to dentists, they don't have cavities. You know, the doctor will say they don't have cavities, you know, <clears throat> because of the way they brush their teeth and the way they um, floss and take care of themselves. So we have to do that. We have to do that. You know, kids are very sneaky. Kids are kids. You know, I always say, just say my kid is prettier than yours. But the behavior, all of them almost behave the same way. So as a parent, you have to be behind them and watch what they're doing. Whenever I'm pregnant, I will have to take out one tooth. Eh? So mm. how many teeth you already take out? Hmm? I say he wants to come pick us up. He's going to pick you guys up? Yeah. So you're going to stay there till Monday? Mm -mm. Not to stay. What do you mean? Uh-uh. He's trying to take us to the ramps here again. You lie. You're going he to be he here. He texts me. Look. I know, but you're going to be here. No, he texts me at 524. Oh. We're not going to be here. He's doing it Saturday because his dad can't do it today. Oh, okay. Well, go get ready then. You guys need to do laundry though. Check. I my laundry. I just have to fold my clothes. Well, fold it. They cannot be laying there like dirty clothes. Okay. Yeah. Tell Maru to set a load before he leave. Mm hmm the kids be standing in front of the water just letting it run tag and uh, uh, tag and soap to scrub their body with uh, <laughs> i'm telling you a lot of kids do that though they are very sneaky so you as a parent you have to get up i know sometimes when we come from work we are tired the body is weak but just try your best to always they said trust but verify Oh, three. Hey, Anne Marie, so you don't have three teeth. <laughs> Come, let me help you. <laughs> I'll give you some of my teeth, okay? Can they transfer teeth like liver? I love my teeth. The only thing I don't like about my teeth, I feel like it's too short. I think that's why I speak different. That's why my accent is too strong, because my teeth is too short. You see, my tongue, oh no, my tongue is short.
Hmm? That's all my tongue I have. That's the, all the tongue I have. Mm -mm. My tongue is very short. That's all. Mm. That's it. Mm. Mm. But I can kiss her. <laughs> I can kiss her. Hey, it's short, but she, it can do it. It's work. <laughs> Andre, how are you? Hello, how are you, brother? Long time. Gloria, how are you? All right, let me let you guys go. I need to go get some water. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do your boys go to the barber shop? <laughs> Dorothy, eh, I don't think you, you follow me for too long. These kids, I used to take them to barber shop every other weekend. But now they want to grow here. It's a, it's a, fight. It's a fight for me to take them to the barber shop. You see the way they look like, like they just come from the bush. <laughs> like they just come from the bush. The other day I took Madu. When was it? About a week ago or two. I took Madu to get a haircut. So I wink my eye with the barber. The Baba understand what I mean. So the Baba went chuk, 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 chuk. Eh? Madu was mad for two days. That boy don't want to talk to me. They, they cut it very low. <laughs> he was mad. So, and that's what I see nowadays. All these kids in this country, they want to grow here. All the boys. You can barely see a young boy nowadays. Black, white. Black, white. Which other cultures? You don't see them with braids on their head. Or you don't see them with long hair. Especially our black boys. The ones that play sports. When I go to the basketball, you cannot see one boy from the baby age to the grown-ups. You cannot see one boy without hair. You cannot see one boy without hair on their head. From young, from basketball young youth to grown-up, everybody here. So, before I didn't want them to grow here. I was against it, but sometimes the kids, you have to, you know, let them experiment or experience, you know, what they want. Then if later, I'm sure later they're going to figure out that this is not good for me and they're going to stop, you know, because I don't want to depress, deprive, I don't want to deprive them of things that they want or things they want, want to try. If, if it's something that's hurting them, I will, I will do my best to stop them, but this is fashion. If they want to try it, I let them try it. And Maru even told me the other day, I just want to cut all my hair, mommy. So I just don't have the time here to take him to the barber shop. And eventually, Abu going to do the same. Abu, he's the one that won here so bad. So he's the one, he's the one that always uh, um, instigates Maru for them to grow here. Sometimes Maru don't want it. But because of his little brother, you know, so he want to grow the hair. So I let them do it. When they get tired of it, they're going to take it off. When they get to that age where they're going to say, ah, this is not for me, they will go take it off. But yes, they go to the barber shop. Sometimes I have to fight them, but we're going. And um, sometimes, even they want to grow here, I will let them cut the side just for them to look nice. Okay? So, I answer your question. And I'm going to let you guys go now. Let me clean up my kitchen and wash up all my dirty dishes. Uh, Angela said, my boys don't like to go to the barber and they are gro grown now, 28 and 28. Hey, Miss Angela, don't worry about those ones. 28 and 22? Oh my God. 28 and 22? I'm not even going to ask you if you want to go to the barber shop. Or, that's your problem. Mm -mm -mm. The moment these boys are 18, 19, I'm not worried about them anymore. If they want to go barber shop, fine. If they don't want to go barber shop, it's your problem. You can grow your hair until it comes to your face. That's your problem. You know, at the end of the day, you have to figure out what you want to do with your life. You want to stay like that or you want to stay clean so you can get a better job. You know, so you give them the option. Because when you stay clean, you take care of your hair. Even if you have hair on your head, you have a way you cut your hair. You have a way you make it very decent. So you can go out there and get a better job for yourself. Sometimes you go apply for a job, they look at you from up and down. They don't want to hire you. It's not because of you are bad. It's not because of you are a thief or whatever. But it's the way you represent yourself. The way you come there to apply for those jobs with all those tattoos on your face, on your shoulder, on your neck, on your teeth, and everything. Or that, that, that poto poto here on your head. So when they're looking at you, they're going to say, hmm. You probably have the talent, you probably have the experience for the job, but some people will, will 
not take you just because the way you present yourself. So I always teach my boys that. I don't stop you from growing here, but just know what you're doing because the part of the world we are living is, is different and there's a lot of things going on. So I always try to educate them in my own way so they can understand, you know. So as they get older, they might understand, they might learn, then they might take care of themselves. But 22, 28, I ain't worried about you. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't worry, but I didn't raise them like that. I love them to look nice. Trust me, Miss Angela. That's our that's our prayers as mothers. <clears throat> that's our prayers. You know, that's our wish. But when these kids growing up nowadays, we are living in the in the new millennium. You know, kids are just different nowadays. They do what they want. And who are you to tell them not to do what they want? You know, so all you can do right now, pray for them. Pray for them to make good decisions. Pray for them to to follow the, all the advices you've given them. Pray for them to do good in their life. You know, at least have a good job. At least pay your bills. Have a good family. You know, just pray. Just pray for them. That's all you can do for them right now as a mom. You know, as a parent, you pray for them. But for us to say, oh, I didn't raise you like that. I want you to be like this. You've done your job. I've done my job. Whatever you choose to do is you. You know, as long as we have good relationship, you can come visit me. I can go visit you. We can go out once in a while. I'm good. The only thing I'm fear, mostly on my kids or, or young kids out there, the moment they grow up, they want to jump on the street. They want to disappear. They don't want to come around, hang out with bad people, bad crowd, whatever. That's my fear and that's my worry. If you if you are unfortunate to have a child to do that, it's very painful as a mom. Very painful. Sometimes you want to help them, you want to pull them back and stuff, but you cannot because they are gone. So, but still, as a mom, it's gonna come back and and hurt you because the moment they see that child, they're gonna say, "Oh, that's Chef Ruby daughter." Oh, that's Chef Ruby son. They're going to call your name first. Oh, that's Angela daughter. You know what I mean? So those things, those things are, are very sad and, and very painful for any parent. If, if you raise your child the best way of your ability, your knowledge, then those child choose otherwise and they become something else. It's painful, you know? It's painful. I know what I'm talking about. It's just painful, you know? But what can you do? What can you do if you already bring them, you raise them from zero months to nine months and bring them in the world, raise them from one day old to 19, 20, 21, you've done your job. So whatever they choose to be later in the future, it's up to them now. All you need to do, you just raise your hand and pray for them. Every night before you close your eyes, you pray for them. Because <clears throat> we always pray. We growing up in Africa, that's our prayers for our parents for us to become better and help them. And me, I'll raise my hand. When my parent was alive, trust me, if I make $100 today, tomorrow I'll send 40 or $50, I keep the 50. You know, I did that till God take all of them. So even before they die, I was not lucky enough to go back home and see them. But when I finally went home, all the people, the neighbors, everybody was telling me that you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. I didn't understand that, what they were saying. But they know, they, they hear the words my parents were saying to them, the things they were saying to them about me. So when I went there, they gave me the message that you don't have to do much. Just say, Alhamdulillah, because you are blessed. Your people bless you before they die. So that message alone makes you feel better as a child. So that's what I always try to educate most of my kids and and all the other kids that comes around me, do the right thing. You know, if you're grown enough, you're working, you make money, take care of your parents. Do the little things for them. It's a blessing. Angela said, you're so right. I just keep keep him in my prayers, but I can truly say I raise him well. And they are good young men. They both are. 
they both are on their own definitely angela as long as they are not in trouble as long as you don't have to go visit them in jail you don't have to run behind them on the street to bring them home you don't have to do none of that um, Baba shop here, whatever. I don't think that's a big deal. It's, it's fashion. That's what most of the young boys like nowadays. It's their fashion. It's their new system. So don't worry about it. You know, as long as they're good, they're working, they're making money, they're doing good, leave them. Leave them, let them have their own fun. You know, you know, uh, um, they think, somebody open the door. You know, the thing that always make me don't, don't stress my kids much or don't worry about them much because sometimes when they're doing stuff then i want to get mad i want to be angry then i go back and look at myself and check my own background and check my own upbringing then i remember that oh i did that before oh i did that before you know what i mean so sometimes i just close my mouth and say hey you know let me just pray for this kid let god direct them because i was a young girl just like her you know i was dating at that age just like her you know what i'm saying so you know what mm -hmm. let me don't be too hard let me just advise so that's the time maybe i'll call and say sit down then i preach and preach and preach and preach i say hey i used to do that too but for you now i just want you to be more better than me I don't want you to make the mistake that I did, you know, so I'm just protecting you. I'm not trying to stop you. I'm not trying to control you, but I'm just advising. I hope you listen. You know, you give them that words of wisdom. If they listen, if, you, if it's a child that listen, if it's a child that know that you, you, you're looking for their own best interest, they will go sit down and realize that, oh, what my mom said earlier is true. Let me just slow down. Let me, you know. I got my spices. I love them. Thank you, Anne Marie. Anne Marie West. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope I'm making sense, though. You know, I hope I'm making sense in this conversation. Sometimes, as parents, we need this little talk. How are y'all? Eh, you made it. <laughs> I thought you're still in the wallet. <laughs> you made it. How are you? You guys want tacos? Of course. Of course. <laughs> my boys, come toast the, the tacos. Put small oil, pick up that oil on the floor. Just put small, then you toast the tacos. Yeah, so sometimes we need this little talk. Uh, most of us, we are parents, we have kids. And some of us, sometimes you're so frustrated, you don't know what to do. You don't know what you're doing wrong for your kids to do what they're doing or to behave how they're behaving, whatever. You get confused, but you're not alone. You are not alone. All of us going through it, unless you don't want to say it. Especially we that have girls, you know, all of us going through it. So let's join together and pray for them. You make perfect sense. Good words of wisdom. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys go follow me on Chef Ruby and Family, please. Huh? This put on an oven. Then that one go down there. Let me end this live so we can um start. Ramonato, how you do, everybody? Love you guys. Appreciate everyone. See you.